Hello everybody, part four of the accordion album. Um, this is where we got to. I've stuck down my bird and my flourish and I've put, you perhaps can't see it very clearly, but I've put some little crystal um, stick-on crystals <laughs> uh, for, for the bird's eye and just on this flower centre which is on my swirl. I've also made a tag to go in this pocket. Okay. The way I made the tag was to measure quite roughly what sort of size I wanted and I chose three and three quarters by three and a quarter and that's what I cut the paper to, three and three quarters by three and a quarter. Rounded the corners and then stuck it onto some craft paper cut round it with the craft knife to leave a small border hopefully you can see that and cut off a bit extra at the top because I wanted it to look more like a tag so I wanted a shaped top I haven't got any um, on the edge dies so the way I do this is to cut a piece of scrap paper the same width as my card Okay, fold that in half and then draw the shape I want over half of that. So I drew this curve. You can see that. Cut that out. Get rid of that. And then that becomes a template for the top of my tag. And I just sat that on top of the paper, drew round it and cut it out and just then curved these corners a little bit more. So turned it over stuck it down onto some patterned paper. I didn't leave a gap this time, I just stuck the whole thing down. So put some glue on that side of the tag, glued it onto the paper, cut round the shape and there you go. And then I cut out a smaller piece for um, off from some ledger paper to journal on and that's three and a quarter by two and three quarters. Stamped the bird cage which obviously picks up the theme of that page and put a grommet through the top. We will be adding some ribbon to that, but I'll, I'll do that later. Right, for this second page here, I'm going to put down a photo mat and I've cut that out again. I just roughly measure three and a half by three and a half. Cut out my paper, mat it onto the card, ink all the edges, um, all the paper and all the card and I'm going to put this onto this page and I'm just going to glue around three edges because I want a journal tag to go in the side here. Okay. Um, and again I've already made that ahead of time. I didn't think you'd want to sit and watch me do all of this so that was again I roughly measure it and I think I measured this one by three and a half by two and a half so three and a half just comes to the edge of the paper here um, and when I've glued this in it'll slot in nicely with plenty of room I've covered that on both sides some of the plainer patterned paper on this side ledger paper on this side and a little stamp here to um, add a bit of interest and to kind of match what's on this page there's a bit of lace there um, and this little pull is just a circle punch that's my circle punch I don't know what size that is I guess one and a quarter just folded over and stuck around the top so I'm going to glue this on three sides using my um, quick dry there and I'm going to put it well over so there's plenty of room to pull the tag out. It's a bit too much glue so let's just get that off. Okay and that will slide in but obviously I'm not going to put that in until the glue's dried. To decorate this page I've done three die cut flowers. Um, this is from a Marianne Creatables or Craftables die, which is that one. 
and cut out the three flowers different colours and I'm going to glue that literally just at the bottom corner here so I'm going to put my glue on there because I want to be able to slide a photograph under that when it comes to putting this down oops I have to go back and re-glue that okay and I'll probably put something up here um, a little label for a date or something um, but I'll come back to that later this page is going to have a belly band on it and I've cut that out I cut a piece of the pattern paper five centimeters wide and use the Martha Stewart I think that's called doily lace punch punched out both sides it's quite thin paper so I've cut a half inch strip of card quite lightweight card glued that along the back so my original piece of paper was six inches it was one of the off cuts um, to know where to fold it for the belly band I just placed it on my page marked it with a pencil either side and then just folded those ends back I don't want this piece showing so before I stick it down I'm just going to taper the edges so that's up to the fold line check that it's a bit more off there and then folded those in and I'm going to glue those down um, just below halfway on that page and for the bottom here I've made a little stopper by using the same paper cutting my one and a quarter circle punch folding it in half and gluing it together I've inked the edges and I've put a little strip of foam tape along the bottom edge which we'll just raise it up and we're going to stick that in the middle at the bottom so that the um, photo mats that we make to put behind this belly band won't fall through so I'm going to finish that off off camera and come back and move on to the fourth page <laughs> 